Hello everyone and welcome back to Total Crypto for another video where we go through our daily crypto news. <laughs> Sorry guys, just fooling around here. Anyway, welcome back to Total Crypto for another video. Guys, in this video, I'm going to do like a, a daily crypto round up. And the reason why for that is because whilst the market is still kind of going sideways, we are still seeing a little red. However, we are seeing some memes almost in a prime position before we see that, before we see that move to the upside. And guys, we have quite a few memes to talk about. So why don't we get into the video? But before we do so, I think it's time to strap onto our boots, put on your rocket helmet. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Crypto for another video. All right, let's jump right into it because we are noticing Chloe is up on the day by 5.4% in the last 24 hours. However, in terms of the future for this project, well, let's face it guys, you are all, some of you may be novice, some of you may be clued up, and a lot of you know exactly what you're talking about when it comes down to we do need to see some of these memes on centralized exchanges in order for us to see those even more gains for the future. However, some of these memes can still pop up without even being listed on either on the centralized exchanges because we had coins like Black Hole Kidney, which never required any exchanges, and it did have a huge insane run to the upside, which we will talk about today in terms of the project. But let's kick off the show with Chloe. And guys, if you'd like to get straight into the video, go to the timestamp below so you can go find the memes or the ones that you're mostly interested in. So let's dive into it. Take a look at this chart, guys. So far, it's looking pretty decent so far. And it looks like we are primed to move up from here because ultimately, I can see at least a return back up towards this last or near all time highs over here. Because if you pull out the measuring tool from here to there, at least for the short term, that's a nice 5x potential. However, I could still see a lot more leg up from here because the current market cap is around about $105,000, $106,000. Yep, so we're currently at $105,000. And the last all time high, guys, look at this. We actually peaked up to $1 million. However, I reckon we can still see a nice 10x gain from this level right up here, which means the market cap would only need to get to $1 million or slightly above $1 million. Guys, you let me know in the comments whether that is possible or not for Chloe, even without being listed on any of the exchanges. I'm still bullish on this project, but I'm not quite sure if we're going to reach to that 100x until we get listed on centralized exchanges. But anyway guys, you let me know in the comments on how high you reckon we can go or whether it would just fall flat. But anyway, let's get straight back into the show and we're going to dive into Cheers Token on the Solana Network. The current market cap is at $453 million. We are up on a day by 2.12% for the past 24 hours. Now let's take a closer look on the charts. Three, two, one. All right, guys, it's looking like we could be on the verge of quite potentially pushing our way into the upside. I'm zooming much more further into the chart. And what do we see? We see on the weekly chart that we had just about printed a green candle. If this remains green and the next candle turns to green, then we could potentially see a much more bigger run to the upside, even for cheese token on a Solana network. Once we do break these levels right over here, then we can quite easily return back towards the last all time highs. Guys, do not sleep on cheers. Because even from where we are now to the all time highs, and let's measure it this time from the top of the wick, that is 1,515% move to the upside. So that's an easy 15x gains. If you put $100, you will then get $1,515. If you put in $1,000, and that turns into 15 grand and you get the gist. I reckon we can still see cheers go to much more bigger prices. How high can we go? I reckon it has the opportunity to go up to 100x, but I'll give it a solid 50x for now until I see more exchanges coming in 
but most importantly from the marketing team but anyway guys do let me know whether you're bullish on cheers token and are you still holding cheers if so let any comments so let's move on to the next one and andy so far is doing pretty well actually come to think about it the market cap is at 9.28 percent move to the upside we are up on a day above 4.37 percent on the day we have seen some you know considerable drops to the downside however that's a perfect accumulation phase before we rip the chart and move to the upside as we can clearly see right over here this is higher than that high so that makes this the all-time highs and we've pulled back all the way back into the zone right here exactly like i said in my last few videos that these areas here are the perfect accumulation phase and then once we do see the run to the upside from here the older highs are right up here and then if we hold here and continue going sideways and then once we do rip above this all-time highs we should go into a price discovery and i could only imagine more bigger prices coming in for and the the current market cap is at 9.28 million dollars 10x away from me we put a market cap at 92 million 100x here put the market cap at 928 million guys that's an easy 100x but i reckon what should i say i reckon and it should go up to more than 1 billion dollars and potentially we could see two three hundred x maybe even more so let's dive right in into black cocky the market cap is at 1.3 million dollar market cap and on the day we are down by 0.47 percent for the past 24 hours now let's take a closer look on the charts because guys oh, oh, look at this as we can see this is the weekly chart of course we're seeing right now that last week was on the indecision uh, candle of here but that turned green this could prove significant so why don't we drop down into the daily chart just so we can take a closer look on these candles all right this is looking pretty decent so i reckon if i head back to the weekly chart that's we should be continuing away to the upside and the first leg up it should be back right into this level let me just move this up a little bit i reckon we should be heading up to here first and we might see some resistance once the price do come back up around this level it means that it might bounce up here a couple of times before smashing, smashing it through above the line and turning it into support so that would mean that we could be look at this 47 percent yeah around about 47 percent away from this level right up here however we do need to stay vigilant guys because we can still potentially head away back down into a lower low how low can we go i reckon that we should be heading away potentially if we continue our way to the downside to go into oh wrong one sorry guys now i reckon potentially we should head away back down into this area if we continue to break level from here and make our way much more further down do i believe that's going to be it for blackcock any not necessarily but if we do come back down to this level then it will take us a little bit little while longer before we can go back anywhere near close to our all-time highs so looking at it, looking at it from an objectively but also you know with a clear mind guys as long as you don't mind the volatility i can still see this coming or going should i say uh back into this level down here and if we do it will take us much longer before we can go back to our last all-time highs so for now we just need to see whether we print a couple of more green candles and finish above or close above this line up here in order for me to remain bullish or at least for the you know short to immediate term if we don't we should be expecting much more pull to the downside so why don't we just reserve our judgment on this one keep an eye on it so we can come back to it on a daily basis and check out what's going on with black cock in it but potentially if we, even if we do get above here and reach back towards our last all-time highs measuring from the wick of the body then we should be expecting something around about 1485 percent move to the upside which is pretty decent but if we come back all the way back down into this level then potentially we could see even more bigger rise to the upside but bear in mind 
the further we go down, the longer it takes for us to get back up towards the last all-time highs. So let's reserve our judgment for this one and come back to it on another day. So far, I'm quite neutral. I just need to see certain levels to be broken before I can give you my judgment. All right, so let's get, have a look at MAD because MAD has been doing some MAD moves <laughs> as of late. The current market cap is at $15.64 million. And by taking a look at the chart, guys, this could be the perfect retest back into an important key level. If we retrace a little bit more, then guys, this could be a perfect buying opportunity. Oh, and also guys, if you'd like to learn on how to set up your trades or get some more educational content, then guys, head over towards my membership page right over here. Subscribe. You only cost about $5 or a little bit less. The reason why I'm pointing this out, guys, is because so you don't potentially miss out on of any of these coins here. Secondly, I don't know which coins that you are holding or you are interested in. And also my YouTube membership over here. You can also tell me which coins that you would like me to look at so I can create that video content for you to show you exactly where and what you should be looking for before making an entry. Guys, this could be or this could help you to make even a little bit more money or even significantly more depending on which coin that you're looking at as well as how much exposure do you want within crypto in order for you to see yourself some crazy gains because the important thing is is to be able to set yourself up for greatness by entering quite early on some of these memes but anyway let's get right back into the video all right so for mad i can see we can go much more high from here this almost looks like a classic well actually it is like a classic you know uh staircasing its way to the upside let me just show you we went up from here all right then we pull back almost exactly to where it was last right over here but then we continue our way to the upside so we create like a one two three movement so that's one two three from here what do we do we then pull all the way back down to here we've in fact it came back wicked into this area right over here now let's pull out the rectangular box because we flipped this area okay we flipped this resistance area here into support and now we're on a verge of bouncing away up from here guys this is almost like a textbook perfect chart i can see mad go much more higher higher prices so just by taking a look at the market cap we can easily get to 10x from here which will put the market cap at 155 million and then i reckon i seriously reckon that we can get up to you know a billion or so dollars if we were to see 100x from here we would need to see the market cap at 1.5 billion dollars this is extremely doable but the question is whilst crypto is going sideways and possibly coming much more further down how low will mad go down before we consider entering from a potentially a very good position but anyway guys let's move on to the next one and that is going to be nero could nero be the doge coin killer could Nero compete against the likes of Dogecoin? Because if we do take a look at the market cap, it's only at $7.69 million market cap. And if we go anywhere near to Dogecoin market cap, then guys, we could be seeing some freaking crazy gains. And I'm talking more than a thousand X. However, I want to try to stay conservative with Nero because still, it's still kind of new. That's one. Secondly, it had a great run to the upside, but we are seeing a pullback down. These sort of charts are made stuff of dreams because if we continue our way to the downside and you haven't yet put Nero on your radar, then we could be looking at much more further down before we push our way to the upside. Now, this would be a fantastic move um, in general. We just need to be a little bit patient and see potentially how much more lower can we go. Let's quickly go check on a daily chart just to give us a bit of an idea. Okay, so possibly we can come back down to roughly around about over here. And if we do, then guys, I'll be looking to add a hell of a lot of my bags of Nero if we do come back down in this level. 
because this area is acting like a magnet and if we do and we fall a little bit lower i don't care so much because these are the areas i'll be looking for for an entry for a crazy run to the upside and let's flip the charts into the uh, market cap which will give you an idea because currently we are seven points eight seven million dollar market cap whereas previously we were up by 30 and we even wicked all the way up to 58 let's pull out the measuring tool so from here to there guys look at that easy 300 but if i measure from where we, we are currently to the top of that wick that's like an easy 7x but i can only see a lot more bigger prices coming in because take a look at the market cap right up here guys only 58 million up to here we can quite easily see 100x for Nero, can we go much higher well it all depends on the narrative for nero and if there were any marketing push that nero would be the next dogecoin killer we will only find out nero to the time so guys thank you very much for tuning in if you haven't done so already give me a like subscribe hit the bell notification so you'll be updated with all of my latest content and videos and if you'd like to participate in some pre-sales check out this video right over here Go into my ether section so you can pick up also some free airdrops. Until then, I'll see you all. <laughs>